Hello there, good morning, welcome to today's Daily Dominion. Looks like we've got adventures and alchemy here. Um, there's quite a bit of draw. Not a lot in the way of village effects, golem. Um, but you don't really need villages here. Um, so, uh, there's no great attacks. There's a lot of potential alt VP and chariot race. So, scrying pool, chariot race interact in a way that could let you score a little extra with chariot race. Um, but the main thing here, I would say, is scrying pool artificer. So, with scrying pool, you can draw up bunch of cards and then you can discard action cards with artificer and redraw those cards with scrying pool i don't know if we actually ever rolled one i think maybe we have we, we've seen things similar to this and i've discussed it in the past um so the question is the opener you could do a gladiator which is okay for hitting five helpful for hitting five but otherwise and you can buy a fortune here, though I think it's not actually that good. I think it's probably worse than Artificer in general. Um, as far as the extra gain stuff goes, but it's not... I mean, it's not crazy to have one. It's kind of nice in that it wins chariot, all chariot races, though, again, setting it up. There's also some setup you could do with Artificer and chariot race. Once you've drawn your deck. So I don't think we need to worry about points here. Um, I think the only worry would be the AI finishing the provinces really quickly. Like completely emptying the provinces. Um, I don't think a three pile is a real risk. Uh, we don't need the full stack of scrying pools. The chariot races will probably empty because the AI likes to buy them. But um, I'm kind of thinking my terminal is more likely to be a Haunted Woods than a Gladiator. Uh, duplicates are also maybe a possibility there. At the end of the game, you can... Th uh, I don't know. Anyway, at the end of the game, you can sort of imagine gaining a duplicate a turn in order to gain some duchies at the end, but that's still pretty slow. It would certainly come after, like, say, emptying the Artificers or nearly emptying the Artificers. Uh, so given all that, I think I'm inclined to either go... I don't want a silver here at all. Um, I'm inclined to go like Caravan Guard. Um, AI gets a Chariot Race, which I think is fine. Okay, so we're going to hit our 5 here. I think I'll keep on the Caravan Guards for a little bit. Our, our single potion misses, which of course really sucks, but what can you do? Not a lot. We've drawn a bunch of coppers here, which is a little unfortunate. She so still don't have five. Isn't that surprising, but... Yeah, I buy a gold. Maybe we'll take... Chariot race here. We are going to hit five the next turn, so hopefully we don't draw the potion. We could think about not even... What did it reveal? I wish the chariot race stuff actually worked. Reveals an estate. Okay. We could even stop here. Just so that we don't draw the potion. And we're going to take... I think first we'll take an archive. <clears throat> And then probably the next five will take an artificer. See, you don't get to see what they. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Um, okay, let's set aside. Or let's play the caravan guard. Let's next turn be looking for. Um, drawing a or buying an artificer even if we have the potion okay, they buy a second province we're giving some caravan activations which is unfortunate but 
So it's sad that we drew the potion there, but it's okay. The um the scrying pool stuff we do get to do some attacks. Is nice. We don't find the artificer, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. So we should win. And the AI is, I guess, just choosing not to activate their caravan guards. <laughs> Assuming that I'll play another scrying pool, I suppose, but it's actually kind of far from guaranteed. So at this point, it's either another artificer or just like a haunted woods here. Um, or archive, like, to be honest, the archives are probably about as good as the haunted woods. I guess it's a little nice to do some attacking. Let's go with that. Get another gold. Gold is totally fine. I would like to draw that, but hopefully we just come around to it again. Um, we may get to do some chariot race wins. Yep, we get one. So we're going to end up with, no, never mind. We're going to have a guaranteed hit to find the potion, which is great. Um, and we'll go ahead and put a couple or put an artificer on top here. We'll be looking to gain another Haunted Woods um, mid turn. <clears throat> what did they do? Oh, they bought Raid. Well, that's pretty bad. Okay, so we can get a, we have enough to do two of them. Let me think. To do it like an artificer and a haunted woods. We should have enough for that actually. We don't have to play all these things. We're pretty close to the deck going crazy. We just need to draw deck a time. And we'll be... Which maybe we do an archive. We could do an archive at the end. If we get through here. <clears throat> Okay, so this is pretty good. We can do a couple. We can do this a couple of different ways. Um, so we don't really need money. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get a chariot race, and then archive some junk. Uh, let's just put a state. A state is a little better than copper. Okay, so now we get to do the thing. And then here... Let's get another artificer, actually. And, or not artificer, archive. We get another activation here. We'll go ahead and set aside coppers. We're just sort of using the archive as like pseudo trashing here. Um, technically a little bit of draw as well, but that's hardly a big deal. We don't even really want the caravan guards out of the deck. 
Um, we'd rather they're in the deck at this point in time. Okay. We should draw a deck much more quickly this turn. Um, because we've taken so much uh, non-action cards out of the deck, the pool should hit a little better. At least, hopefully. Um, they didn't do, they're not doing, okay, there's one. That one was nice. Okay. So here we can go one, two, four, five. Get an artificer, go one, one, two, three, four, five. An artificer. We go ahead and draw here, I think. One, two, three, four, five. We get an artificer. Five. We get an artificer. <laughs> um, and next turn we can empty the <clears throat> provinces and get some duchies too. I guess we can do a little bit of chariot racing. Five. The last artificer win a couple points here. Why not? Um, and then we want to do we want to get some archives now. And then like another archive. I guess we could pick up another chariot race here for quote unquote free. I don't know if it'll hit anything, but <clears throat> okay. And then we'll do, we'll set aside more junk here. I guess we could even, if we really wanted to, set aside a province or gain a province. Get another point on chariot race. So we're even already in the points lead. Okay, the AI is going to be able to buy one more province. So this will really probably be more like empty most of the duchies and get the provinces. We don't have the... Um, what do they have on top? We don't have... There we go. I was going to say we don't have a pool, but it's okay. Uh, what's well, still set aside on the archives? I guess we know there's still a province in there. Okay. So we go one, two, well, we can keep the chariot races as our way of drawing the cards. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have to, whenever you're not just gaining an action card, you have to draw the, um, you have to draw the green card off, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you need to keep one cantrip to draw, though, which is why it's a little unfortunate that we had to play these earlier on, but whatever. We still have sufficient. We could also do, um, 
two duchies. That we can we only need one more province because we can buy the other one. So we can do like one, two, three, four, five. Get a duchy and then one. Then that draws the duchy. Probably should have kept um, a caravan guard actually. Though it probably won't matter. One, two, three, four, five. Another duchy. We can do like this card and we will stop on that duchy, but maybe not till close to the end. Yeah. Um. Which means the rest of these are actions. Uh, so really we just need three of the artificers to get um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. None of this really matters. <laughs> of course. It's just it's just sort of the puzzle of trying to gain everything or gain as much as you can. Um, which I'm not playing perfectly by any stretch. One, two, five. We could get an estate. I don't think we can, I don't think we have enough draw to get, um, which the funny thing, we could actually whiff totally when I do the discard of the green, the top, when you reshuffle the top card could be green and just the draw could stop. So I've actually risked um, not losing, of course, but not finishing this turn a couple times now. Um. Well, now this just doesn't. How many artificers are there left? I think this last card is an artificer, right? Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Um, yeah, I mean, so eventually you have a stack of scrying pools, which really does hurt them quite a bit. I mean, the spy effect is not nothing if you're playing seven or eight of them a turn. And of course, we were pretty close. Um, We weren't too far off their score just from cherry race points, and we could have gotten a bunch more of those if we wanted to. We just didn't do it because who cares? Um, yeah. So anyway, that's that's. I mean, that's exactly how I think it would play out. You you have pseudo trashing plus draw an archive. You have lots of draw elsewhere, and then you just have the super gaining combination. So. Uh, pretty straightforward engine. Um, you can mess around with some of the other stuff, but I don't think it helps you at all. I think Golem is, is pretty much always worse than Scrying Pool, and I think Gladiator Fortune is just like noticeably worse than any Artificer stuff you can do. So uh, This had a lot of nice um, interactions for Chariot Race as far as controlling top deck via Artificer and, and Scrying Pool, so that was nice to see. Uh, anyway... In any way, wow. I say this in a minute. Apparently, my ability to talk has just gone out the window. Um, hope you enjoyed the kingdom. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow.